Hi everyone, uh, it's been far too long since my last update, so I just thought I would uh, update where where I am. Um, so, um, let me see, I've got these mocha um, clownfish, so uh, they're really a nice decent size. Cleaner wrasse I've had since forever, almost a couple of years. The cellophane thing there, there's Ardini swimming by. And of course I have these large... Two large uh, long spike urchins, <clears throat> one there, and the other one is often hiding in the back there, I guess. I'll uh, try to spot it. Oh, yes, there you go. Yeah, that one's in the back. So, um, let's see if I can spot any of my new additions here. Oh, yes, I've uh, I got a uh, little ladder glider. Um, Sensifting Gobi here again, and I uh, have two of these uh, variegated urchins, nice and small. They, uh, they they work. They go in different spots than the other the other two large uh, long spike urchins. Also got these nice, very nice, tiny, um, small, softy uh, corals. I forget exactly what they're called. I'll I'll link. I'll ask Derek and I'll and I'll link it. Anyway, now um, <clears throat> see my cabbage leathers coming back to life. Half of oh oh there you go, flame hawk fish. <laughs> Just saw it swimming by. Anyway, he's uh he's really doing really well. I've had him I've had him for a couple of weeks now. Really perches all over the place, and uh, yeah, really quite a nice fish. I like him a lot. <laughs> There you go. Um, yeah, so half of these zoos were gone because of my low salinity. Um, problem I had, if any of you read my blog post, but um, anyway, I was down to anemic levels of of salinity, but now everything's back on track. I've had to restock uh, some uh, some uh, hairy mushrooms as well as as well as uh, Kenya trees. Surprisingly, that stuff even died with low salinity. Uh, but but all of these uh, wonderful little green polyps all you know survived throughout the entire ordeal. Um, but anyhow, oh, and I guess I could show quickly what's what's going on too. Of uh, I got equipped with a nice um, uh, GHL Prophylax 3X. I'm also controlling using my my um, smartphone and. Quick video here to show. I've got a couple probes here in the tank. I've got two more on the way. I have conductivity and orp on their way. Uh, as you can see, my skimmer is working really well over time. It's it's due for a cleaning now. My gosh, it's almost that full. Um, but yeah, just uh, it's been a while since I filmed my sump here. I've got my little um, yeah. So I've got the par bar back there for the GHL. Where I can remotely control each and every single one of these devices separately. Um, so yeah, I have not set up the dosing yet, but I will soon. And um, anyhow, that's, that's, uh, that's it for the update. Uh, thanks for watching everyone.